Previously on the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. New fresh clothes dropped in the store. You already know we picked those bitches up. A fellow trial goer challenged us. Holy shit, is that a Mega Deancey? Another legendary made its appearance and we caught it. What encounters await us in the routes ahead? Will we find another legendary? Find out in today's episode of the Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. Yo, right, guys, it's Game Boy Luke here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Sun Randomizer Nuzlocke. In the previous episode, uh, I don't know if you can see, actually, we're wearing some pretty uh, pretty fresh clothes right now. One of them being my own merch. Oh, well, I'm not wearing it right now, but you know what I mean. I, uh, we're wearing a Game Boy t-shirt, the Rotom Game Boy t-shirt, which is super, super sick. Uh, I'm really proud that I was able to get that in the game. Um, in this episode, we're going to be heading on, uh, I think there's a little story thing here with uh, Gladion. Uh, I think we battle him actually, and then we move on to. I mean, I think we can catch a Pokemon in yeah, the Haina Desert, and then there's the Route 30. I don't know if there's any grass here. Oh, we might be able to fish by the looks of things at the bottom there. Excuse me, uh, are we going to catch a new Pokemon? Which would be sick. Really excited for that. Uh, there was something else I was going to say as well. I don't remember what it was. Uh, regardless, uh, I'm going to do everyone a favor and remember to spin the wheel instantly. Go ahead and click this button. Spin this bad boy and see what the uh, preset rule for this series is. I don't know what I was going to talk about. No physical moves. Interesting. No physical moves. So I may as well move uh, Rex him at the front of the party and put like Grim Reaper here or something. Um, oh yeah, okay, that's what I was going to talk about. So, for those who didn't know, if we hit 3,000 likes on any of the videos of this series, you get a bonus episode. That goes up on the Saturday of the week. Uh, I find out that obviously it goes up. Uh, well that um, is, uh, it, it occurs rather. Um, and I do believe episode one, episode two is the only video so far that's hit 3K, but I'm pretty sure the others should be close right now. I haven't checked recently, let's see. So episode one is on 294. So we need 51 more likes to get, um, uh, get a bonus episode on Saturday. So if you want to see a bonus episode, like if, if you can find, if you have a social platform, uh, like, for, like Twitter or Facebook, they have at least 51 people on there, or even less than that. Just, just pop the, you know, just introduce the series. People, hey, the guys, this is my favorite series, or uh, hey, guys, I really enjoy this series, or hey, if we get some more likes on this video, we'll get a bonus episode on Saturday. And then we can introduce some new people to Game Boy Luke, and that'd be really, really cool. Episode two is almost at 4K likes, which is actually kind of insane. Um, episode three is like 500 likes away. Episode four is 101 likes away. So, like, we have an opportunity to get some bonus episodes here, guys, if you can uh, get some support on those videos, but. That's pretty damn neato, and I appreciate it. Um, in the last episode, we caught Moltres as well, actually. You should definitely check that out. It was uh, it was kind of insane. All right, here's a story. I'm going to have to my throat for this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, Hal. <clears throat> uh, whoa, Luke! I heard the news from Sophocles. You helped out with testing the kind, yeah? That totem, t a totem calling machine or whatever. I, I guess I was test subject number two, but I managed to get through the trial. Maybe even managed to get a bit stronger. <laughs> whoa! Here, Luke, I want you to take this. Ooh, a max potion. We'll take the max potion. It's very kind of you. You only have one volume, don't you? Haven't you ever heard the expression that silence is golden? Oh, damn, he's calling him out. Ah, he's back, no! Listen, you fake hedgehog. Listen, faker. Team Skull is looking for a Pokemon called Blue Fart Cloud. Do you two know anything? What? Uh, no, we tell you. So you do know something. Look, Blue Fart Cloud isn't even a strong Pokemon, but it has the potential to summon Pokemon so terrifyingly strong that you don't even know. If something like that happened, it would be a disaster for Alola. Uh, a disaster? Like like a real disaster? Then uh, what are we supposed to do? But <laughs> whoa! Protect it. If you do know where the Blue Fart Cloud is, or if you do find anything out, just keep it safe. I know I might be working with Team Skull right now, so you may not trust me or care, but I'm gonna tell you just once: you have to protect Blue Fart Cloud no matter what. Hey, you need some new pants, dude. They're kind of slashed up. I don't even understand how Team Skull found about Blue Fart Cloud in the first place. What do you mean? No matter what, are you just gonna leave us hanging? Luke, uh, if they're looking for Blue Fart Cloud, then is Lily gonna be okay? I don't really get what's going on, but we've got to uh, we got to keep them both safe, right? Uh, then I know what I'm gonna do. Take on my next trunks, so I'll get even stronger. <laughs> Whoa! All right, so you need Top of Coco to recognize your strength. Good luck, buddy. We'll see, won't we? All right, so no physical moves. Remember, guys. Remember for the for the for the rewards bill. No freaking physical moves. Ooh, a moonstone. Okay. So let's see. Uh it's not like there's any grass. Can I fish in here? 
I guess not. Pick this up. Miss the days when you could fish in any water, to be honest. Oh, hold on. We have some life over here. We can fishy fish fish. Hello. What's our first encounter on Route 13, guys? What is it? It is A. Two episodes in a row, we find a legendary Pokemon. Um, that's really funny. Because we already have a Dialga, obviously. Um, I think that's really, really funny that we just found uh, another legendary Pokemon. But it obviously it's Dupes Claws because we started off with Dialga. We could have caught another one right here. Oh, that's so funny. Daphne meets Daphne, dude. Oh, it's so funny. Am I seeing double right now? Jesus Christ. Okay, what, what else can we find here? Let's hope we don't find another Dialga. Should we? Hold on. So I think you are almost guaranteed find yourself a Pokemon if we do this. If we run out of the area. Run back in. And then I'm going to get off Tauros. And then start walking. Then the water should be trickling again, right? Yep. We should be able to find another rare Pokemon. Nothing seems to be biking, by biting, even though there's a bubble down here. Excuse me. Wakey, wakey, I know someone's down there. Knock, knock. What else can we find in here? Don't bring me to the algae again. I don't want to see it. Don't want to see it. For real, dude. That's actually funny. Look at this. Look at this shit. Daphne? Meet Daphne. <laughs> this is the weirdest thing ever. I don't think I've ever like had a legendary starter or caught a legendary and then saw it a second time in the game. That is so funny. Okay. Anyways. Any hoosies. Let's go ahead. How many red candies do I have again? I have like a bunch, don't I? I was gonna evolve Gotharita with them. I have four. Yes. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try this again. Let's see if we can find a normal Pokemon this time. Give me something, dude. Unless the is the only Pokemon we can find here, which would suck. Yeah, watch we watch us fish up like a Palkia now. Is there another one? There is. Let's try this one. Nice. Okay. First actual encounter that's not a dupes is a Zuril. I know it's not a water type, but we keep finding Pokemon that are basically water types in the water. And it's kind of, kind of annoying. It's like, excuse me. I, uh, I kind of wanted to, I asked for a randomizer. I asked for a Pokemon that's not a water type we found in water, basically. Like the Alga. I'll catch it anyways. Let me get the nicknames ready. Because this should kill. It's only a baby Pokemon, so I don't think it has like a low catch rate or anything. Uh, episode uh, 30 again. Let's see who's active over here. All right. All right. Hey, hey. Uh, Abby, I pinned Abby's comments. I thought it was kind of funny. She timestamped. If we come across a legendary Pokemon now at this stage of the game, I fear for our safety. 1535, Ky Kyoga. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs> Even though it's a male, I think uh, I think this, uh, this fits Abby. Abby the Azuril. Let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Abby the Azuril. Yo, can we get an adamant? 
huge power. I'm just curious, let's see. That's thick fat. Oh, this, this attack is down too, it's awful. Ouch. Uh, Santa box. I don't think, I don't know what its ability here is, is as Azrael. For it to evolve into Azumarill with huge power. Alright, so, let's very, very quickly head up here. Or can I not head up here yet, because I need the trial thing. Green trial goes, let's raise this Captain Barricade. Okay, we have to get the ghost one. So he's like, no, 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 no. Fine. I guess we're not catching a Pokemon here after all. I, I'll wait. Whatever. How's this Team Skull member doing? Alright, whatever. Whatever, my dude. Hey, Tapu Village. We can actually get an encounter here, I'm pretty sure. Hey, how? What's popping? Yeah, whoa, look, 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 look. Seems like we're almost at the, almost a posh house where the captain is supposed to be, huh? Exclamation point. Hey, look, construction workers, this might be what Kakui was talking about. So they really, they're really making a Pokemon League up on top of Mount Lanakila. Friends told me that Pokemon Leagues uh, in other regions are, have four crazy strong monster coaches in the more called the Elite Four. The Elite Four now, I'm in dead. I wonder which one's the stronger. I can't wait to find out. Interesting stuff. Posh House, another part of the pod, posh, uh, posh Foundation? Because I'll eat my decks, it's not. You eat your decks. Okay. Kind of sus. Rotom, but uh, I'll let it slide. Pause. I'll let it slide. Alright. So, we have the Tapu Village we can get a Pokemon on, right? What's south of here, very quickly? Is this where the next trial is? Because this is a new area, right? Well, where's my map? This is Route 14. Holy fuck, we're finding routes left, right, and center. The Abandoned Thrifty Mega Mart. Okay, so that's where we need to go for um, our next trial. So let's catch a Pokemon in Tapu Village while we're here. What's our first encounter here? Another Grass Starter Pokemon! What the heck? Wow, okay, uh, let's switch to, I don't really have anything for this thing, uh, I can't use physical moves, oh bro, I wish I had my, uh, my lucky egg right now, my lucky egg, my, uh, my, my leech seed, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, let's go to Daphne, I hope, I, I, I don't know, I don't wanna get bodied by a Torterra, let's see what moves it has right now, Okay, it doesn't have... It might have Earthquake. At level 30. I'm risking it for the biscuit. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not even worth the risk. It's really not. But, I don't think it's going to use it. First. It just boosted its attack, dude. I'm gonna- if it earthquakes me now, I'm actually screwed. Is it worth it? It has curse. If it's level 30, it's gonna have like- Oh, it's gonna have earthquake. It's gonna- it's got to. It's actually got to, hasn't it? I'm gonna go to Illidan and just start throwing Pokeballs at it. It's gotta have earthquake. I can't risk it. Okay, Razor Leaf. Holy fuck, dude, that did a lot. Uh, okay, let's see what Pokeballs do we have. Uh, lower level, nope. I guess I'll just throw Ultra Balls at it until... No way. I was gonna say. You know, Ground Grass is kind of a weakness we have. We have a massive weakness to ground and grass type Pokemon. Moltres instead of Illidan might actually be a good shout. I might have to do that. I know we just added Chestnut to the team, um, but I really want to use that Moltres. And I think Moltres over Chestnut is probably a better idea because it means we can take down grass types and we have a resistance for grass and we have a, new, a complete neutrality to ground, which I think is very, very useful. So I'm considering putting Moltres on the team instead of... I'll tell you what, I'll do it for this episode. I know Illidan was kind of useful here. But like, if we had Moltres on the team, like, he wouldn't be able to touch us. 
And I better hit him for fire spin and get some damage off. Come on, just stay in the ball. Let me get let me, let me get this Torterra. Damn it. I don't think I can catch it. I haven't seen it reveal Earthquake yet, but. If it has Razor, I want to think it does. I think it's got Razor Leaf, Curse, Bite, Mega Drain. That's what I think it has. Fuck! Jesus Christ, bro. If it hits me with the Razor Leaf and Chris Mega, I'm dead. I think I'm gonna have to run from it. Yeah, I'm gonna run. Yeah, I'm not playing. Homie, I ain't playing, bro. I'm sorry, I can't catch this, uh, this Torterra. And I, I, at least it kind of made, uh, made a massive weakness in my team known to me. Because if we have to face an actual Torterra and it's, it's got Earthquake, I'm gonna be boned. I'm gonna box Illidan and put on Moltres. I think that's a smart play for me. Uh, let me... Let me just grab... The held item. And give it to you. You're jolly, which is kind of insane. Uh... Where is the lucky egg? Is it the bottom? And let's give it a Drakish, dude. I want to use the Flare... Uh, the Flareon? I want to use the Moltres. I've never used the Moltres in a casual LP before. I don't think I've used, ca like, Moltres in, like, anything, because Moltres is, like, the worst of the birds, but... Here's some Nuzlocke. We want to use Pokemon we don't normally use, I guess. Uh, and Moltres is one of those, even though uh, Chestnut's kind of one of those too. He's a starter Pokemon. And everyone, you kind of see him uh, more often than not. So more often than you do a Moltres. So we have two legendaries on the team now, which is actually sick. Uh, let's see what TMs it can learn. Learn Flame Charge. It's a physical fire type move, which might be good. Uh, fire Spins is special. It's 35. Um, I'll get rid of the agility for now. So I can't see ourselves using that. Nope, no. Sky drop. Okay. We already can't learn anything. Should we look at? Uh, I'm kind of interested to see what it gets, though, dudes. I actually. Hold on. More trends. At level 30. Okay, so it's gonna get flamethrower at, at 36. Yo, it's getting flamethrower like super soon, which is nice. Uh, air slash at 50. It's just a bit of a ways away, but it's fine. I just wanna use the Flareon, honestly. A uh, Flareon, I keep calling it Flareon. Why do I keep calling it Flareon? Moltres. Uh, I guess it's kind of bad to bring out uh, Moltres. <laughs> Moltres out in the rain, but it's okay, we'll be fine. Also, I got a fishing rod made by Lana. I do. I do indeed. What of it, sir? Uh, ma'am? Sorry, I apologize. We need a queen. See now, I feel like Nita Queen can't. Uh, Nita Queen can't touch me. Nita Queen can't touch me. Nita Queen at level thirty. It's gonna have chip away, poison sting. It literally can't do a thing to me. But then again, I can't really do a thing to it because it's raining. My attacks are reduced. I can't flame charge it either because this is no physical moves. So I guess I have to go to Grim Reaper and just psychic it. Howdy. What are you holding? A big nuggy? What the hell, man? Give me your big nuggy. Yo, I need Thief. I need, I need to get the move Thief so I can steal items. I'd love to have the big nuggy that you're holding. I'd love to thief a mega. I don't know if you can thief a mega stone actually, to be honest. But it'd be worth a try. What? How did that not kill? Jesus Christ! Uh, hold up. I need to heal. Also, is it level thirty-eight that Gothorita evolves at? Gothorita. Forty-one. Jesus Christ! Why so late? So 
I have to use a red candy to get to level 37? Okay. If it survives that long, that is. Jesus. Alright. Maybe I should have size shocked instead. Probably would have done more damage. Luckily, the Eevee Light is kind of like saving me. And it would normally do way more than that, but luckily, we have the Eevee Light. The Eevee O Light. <laughs> saving me since uh, we got this Pokemon. I need to heal this poison. Who's next though? Uh, Mudsdale. Okay, I want to switch the heck out anyways and go into Dr. Sam. Dr. Sam in the rain. Oh yeah. I think with the rain, we're gonna probably do more than Earthquake maybe. Holy fuck, Mudsdale. Right, I'm gonna Mega. I'm water gun this thing. Does uh, Swamp Mega Swampert get like more base stats in, in a special attack when he Mega Evolves? Is it biting? Oh no. Oh no! It's gonna kill me! Oh shit. It's actually gonna kill one of my team members. Cause I can't kill it. I can't kill it here. I have 115 health. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna it's time to do some calcs, dude. Mud's Dale. On uh Wait, let's go, let's go. Okay. So the thing is, I know it's max IVs, right? But it's got no EVs, I'm pretty sure. So if I go to Mudsdale, and it's level 31, and it has no EVs and HP, it's gonna have 112 hit points, right? And I didn't do half its health. So, I did about 40, no, I did like, yes, yeah, so it's got like 52% health. So I did about 53 points of damage. So Daphne could maybe survive this. Daphne could maybe survive this. But do I want to risk it? Because it's going to hit me back for double damage in a second. If it does have EVs, I don't remember if I checked the button for EVs. If it does have like EVs in it, then I did like six. Oh my god. I don't want to go out and openly sacrifice one of my Pokemon. Oh my god, I'm so stuck. Let me just work out. Okay, so 112. So I did about... 53 damage, 106. It's gonna output 106 damage if my cal calculations are roughly correct. Um, I know so many of you right now are screaming at me, but I don't want to sacrifice one of my team members. Am I really gonna do this? Maximum amount of HP it's going to do is 112. This is it, guys. Is there anything I can do? I can't do anything for myself right here. to go to a damage calculator and see how much oh my god 
Oh my god. That was the most terrifying thing ever. Holy crap. I am so happy. That was terrifying. I genuinely almost lost him. We almost lost. That was so close. Seven hit points. Seven hit points. Is it seven hit points I had left? I don't remember. I didn't see. I think it was seven. I am actually speechless right now. I'm sorry. A little bit mind blown by it. Uh, I had to work that out. I had to properly work that out to make sure I survived. Jesus. My heart is like leaping out of my th my, ch my chest. Oh my god! Hapu? Hit the shinks. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Turkey Bird. Hey, I need to get out of here. Dude, Dr. Sam, it's your time to shine in this episode, honestly. Gonna water gun you. Because I can't use any physical moves. I almost did go for Earthquake the first second, and I was like, wait, nope, no physical moves allowed. Bam. I am a strong boy. I have Swiss Swim because of the, uh, the, the rain, too, actually. Get bodied! Rawr. This is why it's important, in this Let's Play specifically, to make sure I have special moves and physical moves on my Pokémon, because like uh, because of moments like this. Pidgey? Alright. Well, I know Moltres can actually deal with that one. You can actually go for the uh, Ancient Power and body this thing. Oh, the Mega Ball anime, Mega Ball, the Master Ball animation is just looks sick. It's all purple and stuff. All right, come here. Ancient power. Bam. Wow, I didn't kill? Insane. That's because of Jolly. That's because of me being Jolly right there. All right, let's fire spit it to finish it off. Rawr. That's a special move, so I'm good. Ding. Look at her face. All right, we're done here. Excuse me. What's up here? Murkrow, nothing else. Now, question is... I want a surfing Pikachu too, mate. I wish we could have one. I want a surfing Pikachu. All right. The old place is actually a trial site. I can't let you up. Oh. Oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. I thought I could do my trial now. I wanted to catch any Pokemon. Wait, is this a new area? Hold on. Oh, this is a new area. What am I doing? We can catch a Pokemon right here. And there's also a random, like, thing over here. What the hell is this? Shadow Ball? Bro. I'll take it. I didn't even know Shadow Ball was here. We can learn Shadow Ball. Oh, hell yeah. All right, Grim Reaper. Uh, Shadow Ball was a good move on you. I think I'm just going to get Shy Shock. Let's get Shadow Ball on you. I can teach Shy Shock back if I need to. Oh, I can't. I don't have the TM for it, damn it. Um, you can learn Shadow Ball. That's interesting. You have to be better than Faint Attack for sure. Get rid of that. Ayo. And then Silvali can learn it too, but he's more of a physical attacker, so I can't really teach him it. Alright, sick. I like that you can see the map down the bottom. That kind of let me know that was there. 
Come on. Find a Pokemon. Alright, first encounter on Route 14 is... A Golbat. Okay. Golbat's a cool Pokemon. Welcome to Crobat. Crobat's a sick Pokemon too. It's not a poison type Pokemon, but... That's fine. Uh, let's uh, an Ancient Power it. Because that's definitely not going to kill. The bulkiness! We eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. Another ancient power for good measure. And I should be able to catch this thing easily. Poison Fang! Yummy! Oh, poison me. Okay. I think it, that badly poisons you, doesn't it? Okay, I need to get out of here. Is that a different, like, animation or, like, a different, like, picture for bad, badly poisoned? Because they did technically two separate, like, status ailments. So they should be, like, more prominent. Just to let you, like, to rem remind you. Oh, fuck, I called for help. What the hell? Okay, it's happening to appear. That's what I thought, bitch. Come here. Come here. Where did Brock take Nurse Joy for a date? The Pokeball. Funny boy. Funny man, you could have it. Epstella, Epstella, Epstella. Let's name this thing Epstella, 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 Epstella. All right. Yes, I would like to give a nickname to Colbat. Oh, uh, Grobat. Colbat. Ep. Actually, what am I doing? Epstella. There you go. Bam. Send to a box. Send to a box. Alright, so we made it to Toppy Village. Again, we didn't really proceed far enough. Uh, or a great deal of a uh, distance, but... So that's not what the series is about. We're all about catching them Pokemon and surviving. We had a crazy run-in with a Mudsdale, which was uh, definitely one of the most terrifying experiences. I know we have to... Oh, we have to head to the, the Posh Foundation's building over there, right? And uh, talk to the people. I remember now. I actually just remembered. Once we've done that... That's when uh, we can go to the trial site and do our next trial. So, <laughs> excuse me. In the next episode, I imagine we'll go to, we'll go up to there to the Post Foundation's place um, and be able to uh, do our next trial. Uh, let's go ahead and spin La Wheel though. Let me bring it on screen for you uh, in just a moment when it I need it to uh, refresh because it still has the last episode's thing on here. So let me load it up and. Uh, that recording, and I'm gonna get bip, babbity, bibbity, boop, bop. And then we'll keystone, which we already did. So the reason I put these on here is because obviously I didn't want to make it so we got a reward every single time. And considering we've already done the keystone for this, ep um, we already, for this series, I left it on there because it would be like a blank thing and it means I can't use it anymore. I, I just basically just counts on nothing slot because there's still a whole bunch of goodies on there, um, but I can't make a rewards bill like. Always good, so I, I put them. I left them on there on purpose, just so that we wouldn't have to. Uh, it, we, we wouldn't be blessed with a nightmare every single time. So we're not gonna get a reward for this episode, anyways. That's fine. If you guys have enjoyed this episode. Please click on, click on the like button down below. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys tomorrow. The next episode, Pokemon some randomized up. See you guys then.